Okay. Okay, we're doing it. We're talking about it. We're talking about the app with no bugs. First of all, just to get it out of the way, I'm gonna say it. ClickUp is very buggy. You do one Twitter search, and I hate to do this. Just hate, hate to do it. If I look up ClickUp bugs, uh, this is bad. This has been a running joke. But it's not a joke in my videos. Look at this. Lack of bugs? That's a joke, right? I duplicated a view and it won't even duplicate the filters. So it is no less buggy than anything else. You know, you see stuff like this all the time. No, I'm talking about bugs in ClickUp. We have issues every month in different places. Last time we couldn't download the timesheet report. I really want to like ClickUp. It's great for my work, but there's a new bug at least once a week. Pains me to say I might join the Notion or Coda Club. Come on, guys. Come on. You know what? Actually, just come on over to SmartSuite. Okay, so I'm a big fan of SmartSuite. It's a product that I've been working with for a while now. They're a client of mine and I love working with tools that are actually good, okay? And I'm not saying ClickUp sucks. I'm just gonna point out all the differences between the two and say why you should try out SmartSuite. Thanks to SmartSuite for sponsoring this video. First of all, you log into SmartSuite. It's simple and aesthetic. I look at this, I say, thank you. You look nice. It says, you're welcome, Dimitri. And I say, oh, this is a nice little back and forth we're having here. I don't know how we're managing to have this because your productivity app, but I'm not gonna get too into that. I don't have a split, split personality. I'm just a guy who makes videos on the internet. Regardless, as you can see, we go into something like my CRM options here, and it's got really, it's got really cool options between you know showcasing your views in a dashboard style or going on a grid view or going on a card view. Nice CSS with a little drop shadow. All of it looks great. There's even a map view that I find wonderful and cool and interactive. We can go to New York, check this out, get directions. Pretty cool functionality while being cool looking. And I just, like I said at the beginning, I'm not trying to bash on ClickUp here, but I've spent some time clicking through some things. It was quick and there was no bugs that I found yet. I have messed around in the software for a while. I haven't found a bug. And you know what? That's a nice thing. I review productivity apps for a living. We really would hope that that's the thing that you'd have in every single app, but unfortunately it's just not. And while no app is gonna have zero bugs, this app just seriously has a limited number of them. And the reason for it is that on their end, they decided to build out an MVP or minimum valuable product that cost a lot of money. And when a product ends up caring about their consumer, they'll start from the baseline of having the core foundation built on good coding and then they can crank out features and crank out new things like crazy. Their MVP was just built on something that was strong and then now they're able to build it out extremely quick. They're dropping updates all the time. And with these significant amount of updates, guess what's not happening? The ClickUp bug fest. I mean, the last year and a half, it went from me being like, yeah, ClickUp's cool to ClickUp brute forced so many updates that it bugs so often. Automations don't work. People can't download timesheet reports apparently. And unlike ClickUp, when I click into this record, it's not just a task, right? Everything within ClickUp, when I open it, is a task. Inside of SmartSuite, they have more of a focus on being a work management platform. So you're basically combining no code, relational databases with project and management options, right? Because with this record, I can link it to the other solutions and records within my workspace and also I'm able to add a new field that could be, for example, sub items. So if I add this field, that's an item and I can do a check list as a sub item within that too. So it's not by default, just a task and then you're figuring it out from there. When I go into the checklist, I can click on this, add new items, add a new subtask, assign it. You'll see that it has a nice aesthetic look to it. And this doesn't limit it to being like a task with a bunch of fields associated to it. It is really a more versatile option. Because for example, we click on the sub item option, I'm able to add other items within here. So I'm able to add in this opportunity, other sub items that aren't necessarily just checklists. Like there can be something that's sub related to something without it needing to be just a checklist, right? And you can see it essentially has like another sub database within here. So if I add a new item, I can add a description, a date to it. And when I press add, you'll see that I can add new fields below to it. This is the kind of stuff that you just don't get in other tools. I mean, I add a time to it. 
And truthfully, we really just have to think about this differently than ClickUp. It's not just another project management tool. It's a work management tool. It's a lot different. Like for example, the fact that I can link relationships between different records, not something you can do within ClickUp, right? I can go here, allow linking to multiple records, add the field, and I can get another record. Is this something you can do within ClickUp? No. And I think another great example of the agile nature of SmartSuite is the fact that with its smart docs, if I add a new field here, right? And just add this smart doc within it, press add field, open it up. It's had AI tools for a while. So while I can do all the really cool stuff that you'd see in like a Notion or in, I guess, ClickUp docs, you also have something that's a little different. So instead of you just opening it up and, you know, it's within the record, it's like a field in the record. So you can have multiple of these. I mean, I can go smart doc, smart doc, smart doc, smart doc. And I really like the fact that we have complete markdown functionality within this whole slew of backslash functionalities. And while ClickUp has rolled out ClickUp AI, I want to just point out SmartSuite did it first in Smart Docs, and that's good, right? Because we want to have tools that are on the forefront of these kind of things. And once again, when they push them out, they are ready and there is not a bug associated to it. A couple other small things that I really like about SmartSuite is the attention to detail when it comes to fields. So if I click on this, and I only want, if I press modify field settings, go to advanced settings. Another really cool thing about SmartSuite is that it actually has field level permissions. That's right, you're able to have permissions at a level that is even more granular than the whole solution. So if I go to permissions here, obviously we have the solution permissions and we have different specific levels of what people can do. But even more so than that, from just the solution standpoint, if I click on this, I can press edit field permissions. That's right, who can view the field, who can view and edit the field, can be limited to everyone except specific people, selected members of the team only, nobody. I mean, what tools have this kind of stuff? I don't know, SmartSuite. If you're really looking for an option that's like, okay, I wanna have people come in and be able to see different things, but I don't want them to see all of it. Like seriously, if, if you're looking for a tool that has some sort of high level permission stuff, look no further, this has it. I've been in this space for a while, Notion doesn't have it, ClickUp doesn't have it. I mean, do, what, what, are you, what are you waiting for? And just to point it out, if we go to the settings here, I know that anybody from around the world can utilize this tool because in this setting section, the amount of languages it has is crazy. Pressing update this right here, and you just don't get this kind of high level adjustments, right? So I was able to change this extremely easy and I'm happy that I remembered where it was <laughs> because if I didn't, I wouldn't have been able to find this again. But seriously, the fact that it has that many different languages is huge. And that's just a higher level of accessibility that I want you to understand is gonna be needed for a lot of different teams. And if you're one of those teams that has a struggle with an app like Notion or ClickUp because the baseline language settings are not good, try this out. I wanna thank SmartSuite again for sponsoring this video and reiterate this point. Let's get rid of the bugs, okay? Let's just focus on working with apps that care enough to not have bugs. and. Care enough about your own productivity to check out this video right here.